It's a new year, a time when most people are happy and thinking of the future. 2016, however, for one family, is yet another reminder of another year without a loved one. Melissa Howard was found 10 years ago, murdered in a pool of blood in her living room floor, found by friends and family in her Crestview home. She suffered blows to the head, multiple stab wounds to the neck killed her. Her mother, Janet Gilsdorf, is anxious for the police to find answers in her daughter's murder. Well, that's sad. You know, I mean, there's not a day goes by I don't think about her. Yeah. And uh, it's just sad that um, nothing has ever been found out that as her mother and the children, you know, go on, that uh, there's never anything that we can find out or know or what's being done to further any investigation. So, you know, well, like, I did find out something interesting today. Um, okay. they, they mentioned the name. I was talking to um, the folks up there. They mentioned the name of Ralph Garrett, who is um, who I last spoke to in 2014 after they'd cleared or potentially cleared with an arrest um, a six, 16 year old murder of Jewel Summerlin Melvin. So that might um, offer some hope. What do you think? Who is this Ralph Garrett? He's an investigator. He was with the okay, Oakland yeah. County Sheriff's Office. Right. Now he's okay. with the Crestview Police Department working for them uh, on the That gives me case. hope. That gives me hope. If it, you know, they're still finding ones after 16 years. I mean, I've never given up hope. Despite 10 years without an arrest, Crestview Police Department spokesman Andrew Schneider is confident that the department, as well as the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, who is working in conjunction with the case, will find justice for Melissa's murder. We, uh, we want to assure not just the family, but the citizens of Crestview and the, and the surrounding communities that we're, we're working on it. We're, we want to solve this as much as the family does, and we're going to do everything that we can to accomplish that. You know, with the assistance of the FDLE and our investigators, it's going to be it's going to be an endless pursuit until we have have solved this case.